Today, I'm talking photography in Ludington on this episode of Go Here, Do This. There are plenty of outdoor adventure opportunities to be had in Ludington, and most of them have some stunning photography opportunities. Now, I'm gonna cover 10 of them that stand out for me personally. And yeah, I've got a big camera that I carry around with me all the time, but all the spots that I'm talking about, an iPhone will work just fine and you'll get some great photos with just that. Since we are talking photography, I'm pairing this video with Ludington Bay Brewing Tangelo Dream. And I'll talk a little bit more about why later. All right, number one. This might be cheating to put the Big Sobble Point Lighthouse first on my list, but it is one of my favorite structures to photograph of all time. The way it sits on the point surrounded by dunes and is unobstructed by other nearby structures makes this lighthouse feel elegant and strong at the same time. At this point, I have photos from every single angle, but I can cover a few for you. Approaching the Big Sobble Point Lighthouse from the north and the south beaches gives a fantastic opportunity to capture the dunes and the crystal clear water at the same time. Personally, I like playing with some of the dune grass and the washed up logs to add textures to my images. And don't forget the smaller forward structure. It can be incorporated into the shot or it can stand alone as its own image. Number two, since we're already talking about Ludington State Park, let's talk about night sky photography in the park. It's far enough away from downtown that clear nights drop a blanket of stars along Lake Michigan. And yes, it is possible to create interesting images with just an iPhone. And number three, the North Breakwater Light. When you're already lugging your camera around Ludington, this is a great spot to stop. On a calm day, the pier walk is lovely. In the morning, the sun is going to rise and is going to be facing towards Lake Michigan and making the whole light pop. And if you have access to a boat or something to paddle, it's easy to change perspective and grab some great frames. Number four, lifestyle shots are easy to capture in Ludington because there's so many dining and shopping opportunities downtown. Personally, I like to go see my friends at Ludington Bay Brewing and it's because of the patio. And that's why I paired this video with Tangelo Dream. It's like a sunset in a glass. It's bright orange pops in every single photo I have ever taken of it. Which brings me to number five, sunsets. Ludington takes advantage of its beautiful waterfront better than most towns, and Lake Michigan offers sunsets better than most bodies of water. So combine the two by picking a spot along the entire stretch and you will find some amazing opportunities for great photos. I have to remember to put down the camera every once in a while and just try to enjoy the moment. And now we're on to number six and we're sticking with these sunsets because we're talking about the SS Badger Sunset Cruises. If you're into Great Lakes maritime history, you literally are on a piece of history. So it's a ton of fun to incorporate that aspect of the Badger into the evening's photos. Seven through 10 are rapid fire. And it's not because they're lesser of a spot, it's just because there's so many opportunities that I had to make the list pretty extensive. Number seven, Waterfront Park. Sculptures with views of Pier Marquette Lake in the background. Number eight, Hamlin Lake, hike or paddle, you will find a ton of interesting angles. Number nine, the dunes. They're always changing, so it's literally impossible to get the same photo twice. And number 10, the next place that you discover. Yeah, number 10 might have been pretty easy by just saying go out and find spots yourself, but that's what I do. I'm in Ludington quite often, and every time I'm there, I'm always discovering new spots. So the exploration is part of the fun for me, and I hope it is for you too. And I do want to say thanks to Ludington Bay Brewing one more time, because their continued support make videos like this possible. And until next time, cheers.